Hello and welcome back to the third lesson for maths this week. We are today looking at describing movement. Over the last two days we've had a look at some key words. They've so far been up, down, left and right, forwards and backwards, clockwise, moving round a clock like normal, and anti-clockwise, moving the opposite direction, the way that a clock moves. We also have full turn, half turn, quarter turn, and three quarter turn. We're gonna be using some of these keywords to help us describe movement for some of the images that we have in this lesson. Let's have a look at the first one. It's asking you to describe the ladybird's direction. Is it moving up? down, left, or right? And more importantly, why? So we can see the yellow, uh, sorry, the green arrow is moving this direction. And we can see the ladybird is looking up. So let's have a quick look if we had said for the ladybird to move up, it would be this direction. If we said for the ladybird to move down, we'd be moving this direction. If we said for the ladybird to move left, it would scuttle round and then move along the, uh, the green line. Why? Well, it's really important to notice which direction the insect is looking. So we can see that actually it wasn't looking to the left straight away. It had to be told to turn left and then move along the green line. Let's have a look at this one. It says left, right, backwards or forwards. So which direction is the duck moving? If you said the duck was going to be moving left, it would do this. It would turn to the left and it would start to move up. So it can't be left. If you said for the duck to move right, it would turn to the right. So it can't be right either. If we said for the duck to move backwards, it would be this way. And if we asked, oh, so, so then therefore it's not that one. And if we asked the duck to move forwards, quack, quack, it would move along the green line. So the duck is moving forwards. Hmm, this one's a little bit more difficult. It says, describe the animal's direction. The wasp is moving in which direction? You can see I don't have the key words now. Can you remember what they were? The wasp is moving forwards. Look at where the head of the insect is and it's pointing in that direction. So then therefore the wasp is moving forwards. The giraffe is moving. What word would you use there? It's quite a small word. Hmm. The giraffe is moving to the left. Oh, and there's a hedgehog. Let's hide that back. Okay. Here's another question, another challenge. It says the treasure is buried two squares left of the ship. Where is the treasure buried? Draw arrows to show how you get to the treasure. Okay, me hearties, so how are we gonna get to our treasure? Well, if the boat was to move forwards two squares, it would move in this direction. 
if the boat was to move to the right, it would turn and move in that direction. So where do you think the treasure is now? Okay, let's see if you were right. The treasure would be here in this square. The board would move to the left and go along two squares. Hmm. Oh, hello, Mr. Darth Vader. Okay. So this question here is asking which statement is true or false. It says the turkey is to the right of Darth Vader. Okay. Well, if the turkey is to the right of Darth Vader, that means that Darth Vader would turn to the right and he would see a turkey, but he isn't. He's now looking at the tortoise. Okay, so this one is false. Darth Vader is to the left of the tortoise. Okay, well, we have Mr. Tortoise here, and if we turned him to the left, yeah, he's now looking at Darth Vader. Quite scary. Let's keep going. Okay. Another question. It says, if the duck moves two squares to the left, it will reach the grass. Right. Do you agree or disagree? Hmm. Have a think about it. Hopefully, you disagreed. Because if the duck moves two squares to the left, quack, 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 it's going that way, so it's wrong. In fact, for the duck to get to the grass, it needs to move forwards two squares. Quack, 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 quack. That's right. Now we have some keywords at the bottom here. We have turn, move, left, right, forwards, backwards. Some more challenging words to use, clockwise, anti-clockwise, quarter turn. Let's have a look at what the question is asking. It says, let's write instructions for the animals to get to the leaves. OK, well, we've got a ladybird and the leaves. And we've also got a bird trying to get to the leaves. Have a quick think about what you would write in a sentence to get the ladybird first to the leaves. You've got the keywords down here, as I said. If you need to pause this video to write your answer down, that's fine. OK, so let's have now a quick look at what we could write. It says, turn right and move forward two squares. OK, so the ladybird turns to the right and moves forwards. One, two squares. Excellent. It has now found the leaves. But could we improve that sentence using these keywords? Clockwise, anti-clockwise, quarter turn. Again, pause the video and have a go at writing more instructions using these purple words here if you can. So another way that we could describe the ladybird's movement is move a quarter turn clockwise. Move a quarter turn clockwise and move forward two squares. One, two. It's got to the leaves. Excellent. Now let's focus on the bird. If the bird was to get to the leaves, what direction? What instructions would you give the bird? Again, pause the video if you need to, to write down your sentence. OK, so if the bird was going to move this time, we'd say move forward two squares. Because the direction that the bird is looking 
is this direction and it moves forwards. Excellent, well done. Attached to the learning online, you will see some questions that you can be completing. Have a go at doing those for me and I'll see you next time.